Maharani Alia Bai Holkar, was the Holkar queen of the Maratha ruled Malwa Kingdom, India. Ramata Alia Bai was born in the village of Kondi in Jamkt, Ahmednagar, Maharashtra. She moved the capital to Maheshwar south of Indore on the Narmada River. Alia Bai's husband Kondi Ray Holkar was killed in the Battle of Kumar in 1754. Twelve years later, her father in law, Malhor Rao Holkar, died. A year after that she was crowned as the Queen of the Malwa Kingdom. She tried to protect her kingdom from Muslim invaders, the plunderers. She personally led armies into battle. She appointed Tukajire Helkar as the chief of army. Rani Ali Bey was a great builder and patron of many Hindu temples which embellished Mayashwa and Indore. She also built temples and Dharmshala at sacred sites outside her kingdom at prominent religious places like Dwarka in Gujarat east to the Kashi Vishwanath temple at Varanasi on the Ganges, Ajain, Nasik, Vishnupad Mandir, Gaya and Parali Bajath in Maharashtra. Seeing the destroyed and desecrated temple in Somanath, Rani Alia Bay built a temple where Lord Shiva is still worshipped by Hindus. Early life, Alia Bay was born on May 31, 1725 in the village of Chandi in the present-day Ahmednagar district in Maharashtra. Her father, Mankaji Rao Shind, was the patil of the village. Women then did not go to school, but Alia Bey's father taught her to read and write. Her entrance onto the stage of history was something of an accident, Malhor Rao Holkar, a commander in the service of the Maratha Peshwa Bajire and Lord of the Malwa Territory, stopped in Chandi on his way to Pune and, according to legend, saw the eight-year-old Walia Bey at the temple service in the village. Recognizing her piety and her character, he brought the girl to the Holkar territory as a bride for his son, Kondi Ray. She was married to Kondi Ray in 1733. Rain. Awalia Bari unregistered trademark s husband Kondi Ray was killed during the siege of Kumar in 1754. Twelve years later, her father-in-law, Mulhare died. Mulhare was succeeded by Malaray, the only son of Kondi Ray, but he also died on April 5, 1767. From 1767 until her death in 1795, she ruled Malwa, trained in both administrative and military matters by Malhor Rao. A letter to her from Malhor Rao in 1765 illustrates the trust he had in her ability during the tempestuous battle for power in the 18th century, proceed to Gwalior after crossing the Chambal. You may hold there for four or five days. You should keep your big artillery and arrange for its ammunition as much as possible. A euro on the march you should arrange for military posts being located for protection of the road. Already trained to be a ruler, Alia Bey petitioned the Peshwa after Malhar a euro unregistered trademark s death, and the death of her son, to take over the administration herself. Some in Mulwa objected to her assumption of rule but the army of Holkar was supported her leadership. She led them in person, with four bows and quivers of arrows fitted to the corners of the hoda of her favorite elephant. The Peshwa granted her permission on December 11, 1767, and, with Subhada Tukajire Holkar as the head of military matters, she proceeded to rule Malwa in a most enlightened manner, even reinstating a Brahmin who had opposed her. Alia Bey never observed Poda but held daily public audience and was always accessible to anyone who needed her ear. Among Alia Bey's accomplishments was the development of Indore from a small village to a prosperous and beautiful city. Her own capital, however, was in nearby Mahishwa, a town on the banks of the Narmada River. She also built forts and roads in Moa, sponsored festivals and gave donations for regular worship in many Hindu temples. Outside Moa, she built dozens of temples, ats, wells, tanks and rest houses across an area stretching from the Himalayas to pilgrimage centers in South India. The Bharata Sanskritical lists are sites she embellished, Kashi, Gaya, Somnath, Ayodhya, Mathura, Hardwar, Kanchai, Avanti, Dwarka, Badranaran, Rameshwa and Jaganathpurai. Alia Devi also supported the rise of merchants, farmers and cultivators to levels of affluence, and did not consider that she had any legitimate claim to their wealth, be it through taxes or feudal right. There are many stories of her care for her people. In one instance, when her minister refused to allow the adoption unless he was suitably bribed, 
she is said to have sponsored the child herself, and given him clothes and jewels as part of the ritual. To honor the memory of Alia D. V. Holkar, in 1996 leading citizens of Indore instituted an award in her name to be bestowed annually on an outstanding public figure. The Prime Minister of India gave away the first award to Nanaji Deshmukh. Alia Devi was not able to settle the conflict peacefully in the case of the bulls and guns, who plundered her borders. But she granted them ways to lands and the right to a small duty on goods passing through their territories. Even in this case, according to Malcolm, she did give considerate attention to their habits. Alia Bara Euro unregistered trademark S capital at Mayeshwar was the scene of literary, musical, artistic and industrial enterprise. She entertained the famous Marathi poet, Morapant and the Shahir, Anantor Pandey from Maharashtra, and also patronized the Sanskrit scholar, Kishali Ram. Craftsmen, sculptors and artists received salaries and honors at her capital, and she even established a textile industry in the city of Maheshwar. After her death, she was succeeded by Tukajire Hilkar I, her commander-in-chief who soon abdicated the throne in favor of his son Kashmir Holkar in 1797. Views about her The reign of Aralia Bay, of Indore in central India, lasted for 30 years. This has become almost legendary as a period during which perfect order and good government prevailed and the people prospered. She was a very able ruler and organizer, highly respected during her lifetime, and considered as a saint by a grateful people after her death. An English poem written by Joanna Bailey in 1849 reads, The great Danga Maratha lady who affords the noblest example of wisdom, goodness and virtue. One English writer quoted that which Akbar is among male sovereigns, is Alia Bay among female sovereigns. Alia Bay's extraordinary ability won her the regard of her subjects and of the other Maratha confederates, including Nana Fadnavis. Collecting oral memories of her in the 1820s, Sir John Malcolm, the British official most directly concerned with the settlement of central India, seems to have become deeply enamoured of her. With the natives of Morwa. Her name is sainted and she is styled an avatar or incarnation of the divinity. In the most sober view that can be taken of her character, she certainly appears, within her limited sphere, to have been one of the purest and most exemplary rulers that ever existed. Her latest biographers call her the Philosopher Queen a reference perhaps to the philosopher King Podge. Awalia Bay Holkar, the philosopher Queen of Moa, had evidently been an acute observer of the wider political scene. In a letter to the Peshwa in 1772 she had warned against association with the British, and likened their embrace to a bear hug. Other beasts, like tigers, can be killed by might or contrivance, but to kill a bear it is very difficult. It will die only if you kill it straight in the face, or else, once caught in its powerful hold, the bear will kill its prey by tickling. Such is the way of the English. And in view of this, it is difficult to triumph over them. This great ruler in Indore encouraged all within her realm to do their best, merchants produced their finest cloths, trade flourished, the farmers were at peace and oppression ceased, for each case that came to the queen's notice was dealt with severely. She loved to see her people prosper, and to watch the fine cities grow, and to watch that her subjects were not afraid to display their wealth, lest the rulers should snatch it from them. Far and wide the roads were planted with shady trees, and wells were made, and rest houses for travelers. The poor, the homeless, the orphaned were all helped according to their needs. The bulls who had long been the torment of all caravans, were rooted from their mountain fastnesses and persuaded to settle down as honest farmers. Hindu and Musalman alike revered the famous queen and prayed for her long life. Her last great sorrow was when her daughter became a sati upon the death of Yashwan Trey fans. Alia Bai was seventy years old when her long and splendid life closed. Indore long mourned its noble queen, happy had been her reign, and her memory is cherished with deep reverence unto this day. From the original papers and letters, it becomes clear that she was first-class politician, and that was why she readily extended her support to Mahadi Shind. I have no hesitation in saying that without the support of Ali Bey, Mahadi would never have gained so much importance in the politics of northern India. Definitely no woman and no ruler is like Ali Bey Holkar.
it reveals beyond doubt that all ideal virtues described by Plato and Bhisma Chayu were present in her personality like Dilip, Janak, Sri Ram, Sri Krishna and Yathisthir. After through scrutiny of the long history of the world we find only one personality of Lokmata Devi Alia that represents an absolutely ideal ruler. A commemorative stamp was issued in her honour on August 25, 1996 by the Republic of India. As a tribute to the great ruler, Indoor Domestic Airport has been named Devi Alia Bay Holkar Airport. Similarly, Indoor University has been renamed as Devi Alia Vishwavidya Works throughout India. It was the speciality of Holkar family that they did not use public funds to meet their personal and family expenses. They had their personal fund from their private property. Awali Bay inherited personal funds which at the time was estimated to be 16 crores rupees. Awali Bay used personal fund in charitable works. Alampur Euro Harayarishwa, Bachuk, Malara Mathand, Siya, Renuka, Ramhaniman Temples, Shriram Temple, Laxmi Narayan Temple, Maravdi Temple, Narsin Temple, Kondi Ray Martin Temple, Memorial of Mulhare, Amarkantak Shri Vishveshwa Temple, Kota Thirth Temple, Gumaki Temple, Taramshala, Banjkund, Ambagana Euro Lamps for Temple, Anangkanana Euro Vishveshwa Temple, Eridara Euro Built Shri Ram Temple, Shri Trita Ram Temple, Shri Bhairav Temple, Najashwar Siddhnath Temple, Shareyuat, well, Swagadwari Muatorjana, Taramshalas, Badranatha Euro Badranath Temple, Shri Kedrashwa and Hari Temples, Taramshalas, Manu Kuns, Garden and Warm Water Kundak Dev Piag, Pastoral Land for Cows, Bida Euro Janod Hor. Of it. Bellara Euro Ganpati, Panjurang, Jalishwa, Kandoba, Tirthraj and Fire Temples, Kund, Banpura Euro Nine Temples and Dharmashala, Paratpur Euro Temple, Dharmashala, Kund, Pimashankara Euro Garabkana, Pusurla Euro Shamgave Temple, Bithara Euro Brahmahat, Varanpura Euro Rajat, Ramat, Kund, Shandwada Euro Vishnu Temple and Renuka Temple, Chandia Euro Shaudishwara Devi Temple, Sinishwar Mahad Temple, Awalishwa Temple, Taramshala, At, Chitrakuta Euro Pranpratishta of Sri Ramkhandra, Saikhalde Euro Anakshetra, Dwarka Euro Muatorjana, Puja House and gave some villages to priest, Gangatriya Euro Vishwanath, Kedanath, Annapurna and Bhairav Temples, many Dharmashalas. Gaya Euro Vishnupa Temple, Gokana Euro Rewalashwa Mahad Temple, Holkarwada, Garden and Garabkana, Grishnashwara Euro Shiva Temple and Shivela Tirth, Handiyar Euro Siddhanath Temple, Atan Dharmashala, Haridwara Euro Kushawathat and a huge Dharmashala, Indura Euro Many Temples and Ats, Jalgana Euro Ram Mundur, Jamgata Euro Bhumi Dwar, Jamgana Euro Donated for Ramdas Swami Math, Jejuria Euro Mulhagurta Mshwa, Bithil, Martin Temple, Janai Mahadvind Malhor Lakes, Kamanazini River Euro Bridge, Kedanatha Euro Dharmashala and Kund, Kolapura Euro Facilities for Temple Puja, Kumara Euro Well, and Memorial of Prince Kandara, Kalgona Euro Fort and many temples and Ats, Kurukshetra Euro Ship Shaintanu Mahath Temple, Panchkandat, Luxmikandat, Mayashwara Euro Hundreds of Temples, Ats, Dharmashalas and Houses, Mamalishwa Mahath Himakal Pradesh Euro Lamps, Manasa Devi Euro Seven Temples, Mandalishwara Euro Ship Temple at, Mangana Euro Datamunda, near Sorantwadi, Konkan, Maharashtra, India. Miria Euro Bhairav Temple in 1780, Namabar, MP, a Euro Temple, Nanda Bar a Euro Temple, well, Nathdwar in a Euro Alia Kund, Temple, well, Nielkantha Mahadva Euro Shivela and Gumak, Nemisharanaya, up, a Euro. Mahadmadi, Nimza Dharmashala, Goat, Kakrathathkund, Nimgain a Euro well, Omkarashwar a Euro Mamalishwa Mahadv, Amalishwa. Trambakishwa Temples, Kori Somnath Temple, Dharmashalas, Wells, Ozara Euro 2 Wells and Kund, Pankavati, Nasik Euro Sri Ram Temple, Gora Mahath Temple, Dharmashala, Vishveshwa Temple, Ramgat, Dharmashala, Pali Vejith Euro Sri Vaidyanath Mundur, Pantapur Euro Sri Ram Temple, Tulsabag, 
Holkarwada, Sabamandap, Dharmashala and gave silver utensil for the Bithal temple, Pandhapur, well which known by Bagheera well. Pimplas a Euro well, Piaga Euro Vishnu temple, Dharmashala, garden, at, palace, Pune Euro at, Pantama Euro at on Godavari river, Pariya Euro Sri Ramkhandra temple, Dharmashala and garden, Pushkara Euro Ganpati temple, Dharmashala, garden, Ramesvaram a Euro Hanuman temple, Sri Radha Krishna temple, Dharmashala, well, garden etc. Rampura a Euro four temples, Dharmashala and houses, Rava a Euro Keshav Kund, Rishikas a Euro many temples including Srinathji and Govardhan Ram temples, Sakara a Euro well, Sambal a Euro Laxmi Narayan temple and two wells, Sanjamna a Euro Ram temple, Saptashramji a Euro Dharmashala, Sardana Merut a Euro Chandi Devi temple, Saurashtra a Euro Somnath temple in 1785. Siddhivinayak temples in a sanctum at Siddhatek in Ahmadnagar district, Sri Nagnatha Euro started puja in 1784, Srisalam a Euro Malakarjuna Swami temple, Sri Shamu Mahad mountain Shinshanapur a Euro well, Sri Vineshwar a Euro lamps, Sinpur a Euro Shiv temple and at, Sulpeshwar a Euro Mahad temple, Anakshetra, Sultanpur a Euro temple, Tarana a Euro Talab and Dishwar Shiv temple, Kedapati. Shriram Temple, Mahakali Temple, Tahari a Euro Dharmashala, Trimbakeshwar a Euro Bridge on Kushawathat, Ajain a Euro Chintaman Ganapati, Janardhan, Sri Lila Eurushottam, Balaji Tilakeshwar, Ramjanaki Razmandal, Gopal, Shidnis, Balaji, Angpal, Shiv and many other temples, 13. Ats, well and many Dharmashalas etc. Varanasi a Euro Kashi Vishwanath Temple, Sri Tarekeshwar, Sri Gangorji, Awalyadwarkeshwar, Gautameshwar, many Shiva temples. Ats including Manakarnika at, Dashashwamadat, Janana at, Awalya at, Shitala at. Utakashi Dharmashala, Rameshwar Panchkoshi Dharmashala, Kapaladara Dharmashala, Vrindavana Euro Chain Bihari Temple, Kaliadha at, Shirhat and many other ats, Dharmashala, Anikstra, Wefgain a Euro Holkarwada and one well, Ambad Matsudari Devi Mundur, Vikaran well. Book, in Marathi, Panyashlaka Alia by R. W. Tikwa Kumtwail, Alia Bay by Haralil Shama, Alia Bay Karatra by Per Shottam, Alia Bay Karatra by Mukan Verman Bhav, Kame Ojni by Vijay Jahagurda, Nyat Ad Nyata Alia Bay Holakar by Vinokar Dapka, Pal Samaj on Samaj. In popular culture, a film titled Devialia by was produced in 2002 featuring Malika Prasad as Devialia by Shibana Azmi as Harkibai and also including Sadashiv Amrapaka as Malhor Rahulkar, Alia Bay's father in law. A documentary for UGCCEC channel VYAS was made by Educational Multimedia Research Center, Indore about her life and times. In Thain City in Maharashtra, a children's play park has been named as Alia Devi Holkaradian after her. Also a road has been named after her in the same city. The airport at Indore is named Devi Alia Bay Holkar Airport in her honor. See also, Maratha Empire, Holkar. References External links, Alia Devi Holkar, a magnificent ruler, saintly administrator.